Cable Warham is just 18 years old, but he's already a world champion as a saddle bronc rider. In a state known for its basketball and football, rodeo is how he's making his name, and he's just getting started. Arcel Ingalls shares his story. The number one saddle bronc rider in the world from Kansas, Cable Warham. That championship buckle has been a long time coming for the Jackson Heights grad. While most kids played Little League, he found a passion for rodeo. He kept getting better as the years went by, but he took his lumps along the way. There's a lot of crushed up hats and sore necks and sore backs throughout the deal, but I mean, it's all part of learning. You just got to get on. We got the bucket machine here, but it don't simulate a real horse at all. From that... Look at his legs go to work. You better believe it. Long-legged Kansan going at it. To this, it wasn't easy, but world championships rarely are. Before rodeo in the spring, he played football in the fall for the Cobras and led them to the sub-state game. QB1 and Salabronk have more in common than you think. The pressure from them games, you know, you learn how to handle it. And then, like going to nationals, it was... I wouldn't say easy, but a little bit easier handling the pressure at Nationals. Before Nationals, there was a state title. He missed graduation for that, but he donned the cap and gown on a bronc instead. Oh, you know, my buddies, I told them I wanted to do it, and they're like, oh, no, you won't. And, and then I was like, you know what, I'm doing it. I don't care if it's muddy or not. And so, yeah, I got on three in my cap and gown. It was pretty fun. And when the world high school title was on the line, he took a risk to get a better score, and it paid off. Let's make it worth it. When I took the rewrite, I knew there was a little bit of a risk since I already had a score and I was kind of throwing it away, but I'm happy I did. Ended up winning the round and it all worked out. College rodeo is next at Fort Scott Community College and hopefully a pro career after. Wherever he rides, Wareham will do it his way. From Whiting, Sully Ingalls, KSNT Sports. Hey, and here's a fun fact. Cable got his name one of two ways. His dad says he combined Cain and Abel. Yeah, but he thinks that his brother got to name him after an old western. Either way, a name you'll remember. Yeah. That's for sure. I think, and I just think it's so cool to know that, you know, all the way from, you know, northeast Kansas, yeah. making a name for himself already, just pretty dang yeah. cool.